Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. For this third part video on depth of field, I want to show you how to save depth of field on an animated shot. So first, we'll start by creating an animation. You can choose the cinematic animation, but because I want to be really creative, I'm going to choose the start to end position so I can be really creative with my animation. I already have defined a start position, so I'm going to pick the end position for my camera. I'm going to pick an angle here close to the uh, rail and I'm going to load the camera properties and I'm going to go under the position tab and add a tilt to my camera. So that's something you might not be aware of. So here I'm going to reset the end, preview that. Okay, I'm going through the column here, so I'm going to have to refine my animation. So I'm going to change slightly the end position until such time that I am satisfied with the animation. So I might have to preview a few times and reset the end. Now I'm going to preview that and I'm pretty happy with this result. So I'm going to start with that. Now I want to add depth of field to this uh, camera animation. So I'm going to go under the camera properties and activate the depth of field in the viewport. I'm going to select the post in front of me here to be my center of focus. And I'm going to adjust the focal distance and the f stop until such time that I am satisfied with the depth of field in my viewport. So something about like that. So in order to lock it with the camera animation, I need to use depth of field and save it with the shot as well as reset the end position to lock the depth of field with my animation. So I'm going to hit preview and it's going to be a little weird because right now I only have depth of field in the end position. So the depth of field appeared slightly towards the end, which is not what I want. So I need to add a depth of field in the start position. So I'm just going to select my start position with my camera. I'm going to turn on depth of field adjust it for this camera. So here I am clicking on the front column to be my uh, object in focus. I'm adjusting the focal distance in the f-stop and it doesn't have to be the same as the end position. That's why you can get really creative with the start to end animation. I'm going to reset the start to lock the depth of field in my start position. And now when I hit play or preview, I could see that the depth of field gets adjusted as my preview. So you see the focal distance and the f-stop is changing as my camera animation is moving. So the depth of field gets adjusted in between the start position and the end position and gives me the start and end result. So you can add depth of field to all your type of animated shots, but definitely the start to end type of animation you can get a lot more creative with.